Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for June 25th, 2021. I feel like a lot of you might be kind of like, you're hanging in there, you're doing, feels like it's a good energy, but meh. It's like, like a, like a university degree, you're going for a degree in life, right? <laughs> like, like you have all the work, maybe not the most pleasant things but you're doing it. And so I have this sense that people are feeling like they're heading in a good direction. Now, if you're sitting there saying, no, that's not me. <laughs> it's all good. Hang with me here, all right? You'll figure it out. You'll definitely figure it out. All right. Switching up your routine, trying new things. Oh, hi. Hi, we got two today to flip right out. <laughs> Try new things. So we have step. <laughs> okay. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So I was just saying, try new things. And then we have step out of your comfort zone. I know. It's like the little things that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're like, what, Michelle? What are you even looking at? So we have North Node and South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. South Node. Step out of your comfort zone. North Node. All okay. right. Well, the old way is no way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen. You can't be coming from this old way no more. Anymore. Excuse me. Anymore. Okay. This feels really uneasy. It's, <laughs> it feels literally like you're being pulled between the new way and the old way. But you're okay. Remember who you are. You've got this. You'll be, you'll be all right. You're like, no, I'm laying on my couch with some Ben and Jerry's. I'm not okay. <laughs> Somebody needs to send help. I don't know. <laughs> Get me off my couch. But, you know, I'm not joking about depression. I am not joking about depression. If you need help, please make sure you get support. I'm talking about people who just feel like I'm just so sick of hearing whatever I keep hearing or I, I just need a rest, right? Uh, so I'm hesitating on this because <laughs> this feels like such a push-pull energy Help me out here, guys. I know it's a general reading, but I got to give something here. I just keep seeing a seesaw. I don't think there's an easy answer to this. It's not a bad day. It's just sort of like, I, I feel like, okay, I've been going through this. I just need a rest. I just want to tune out for a second. I just want to go off and do something fun. You know, by all means, do that. If you feel like you just need a day to watch funny shows, and if, if it's like what it's been here in Colorado, like, almost 100 degrees yeah and I don't do heat <laughs> I don't do heat to be inside right like I'm not gonna go out for a hike in you know 100 degree weather because rattlesnakes love that too I think but anyway you know this is that kind of thing give yourself a chance to do whatever you feel you need for you watch ruminating watch ruminating on the past I think a lot of us are starting to realize that the past has been draining us. You might have some discovery about why someone is so in your energy. Now, this is where, you know where I'm going with this. Maybe you don't, but here it is. This is where I start to go about that whole twin flame thing. Because, again, most people don't know where the origin of that comes from. They don't understand what they're even talking about when they say it. And... Um, I'm feeling like a lot of people out there, it's okay, however you use twin, you're not bad if you believe in twin flames. Please understand, I'm not trying to diminish anybody here, but I want people to be careful, okay? Um, or you see someone as a soulmate. Well, I have a big old soulmate <laughs> who's been nothing but a pain, never has done the right, in my mind, never done the right thing, doesn't even know what they put me through, I don't think, because they're so self-centered. Bye. North node. This is messy. Okay. Uh, but it's good. What are we talking about? We're talking about you not wanting to let things go. Me not wanting to let things go. Not wanting to admit that we're not fully cooked, awesome human beings that we thought we were, that we have things to do and that we're scared of the future. We're scared of becoming this next version of ourselves because what does that next version of self look like? And will it be okay? Will I be safe there? Because this old way of being, that has been a conditioned response for safety. If you're ever going to make it in this world, comment down below. How many of you grew up hearing, if you're going to make it in this world, dot, dot, dot. 
for straight women out there. If you're ever going to find a man, you better not have too much of an opinion. If you're ever going to find a man, wait, I'm sorry. I have to find a man because, don't get me wrong, I love men, <laughs> okay? I love men, but I love real men. Not the ones trying to be men, not men in process. Real men who have shown up and they know where they are, okay? That's what I'm into. So have you grown up with this conditioning? If Let's keep with that example because it's fresh, it's right there. If you're going to get a man, you better look a certain way. Straight guys, let's go to that. Because these are like the big conditioning things. We could go on all day with these examples here. But, you know, maybe for straight men, if you want to be a real man, you better have all that materialism going so you can take care of your woman. Is anybody icked out by this? I don't even like talking about this. Can we stop? <laughs> can we? I mean, if you're into that okay but just if you're into that make sure you're coming from an empowered place this is getting messy i'm gonna get myself out of this trouble we're gonna forget those (laughs) that example but what we're talking about here going out of the old way and coming into the new way it might be something along those lines and it's not we keep talking about rebellion but it's not like rebellion and i'm gonna put down everybody in that category so i feel uplifted and powerful you know it's like oh because i've had some bad relationships with men. All men are bad. No. It's just, of course that's not true. (laughs) We know that. We have beautiful men that watch this channel. That's not true. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's that push-pull and where it gets messy. Because I think we are duality consciousness beings. We came here to experience duality and polarization. And now the, the time is done. Okay. Or at least to have not polarization but harmony so there's still a little duality there but it's balanced okay <sighs> what can I say for each of you <laughs> I maybe today is a good day to journal to reflect on your day maybe watch this at the end of the day if you see it in the beginning watch it at the end of the day as well to see kind of how you know how things kind of played out and what came up for you what was part of the past or your old conditioning your old belief system your old way of seeing yourself whatever it is what came up around that that makes you kind of catapult towards seeing a a different way and and embracing a different future for yourself cool Uh. (laughs) report down below if you are enjoying this content please make sure that you are subscribed and if you like the video that helps me out a ton and i thank you so much and of course if you would like to have a personal reading just go to my website at angelsouls444.com yes i can do akashic readings for you as well Uh, Just pick whatever time frame you want and leave it in your submission form. And with the Akashic readings, there will be no cards pulled because we're just tuning into your Akashic records. And of course, if you want to join the Archangel Metatron 7-Day Meditation Challenge or the Archangel Michael 7-Day Meditation Challenge, head over to gumroad.com slash angel souls. It's all there. So have a beautiful day, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care.